Hello everyone, I am Dr. Jagada Saravanan, Associate Professor in the Department of Mathematics. Today the topic is for discussion, first, second shifting theorems and change of scale property of inverse Laplace transforms. We are going to discuss in detail about definition of first shifting theorem of inverse Laplace transform and definition of second shifting theorem of inverse Laplace transform, definition of change of scale property of inverse Laplace transform and problems based on first, second shifting theorems and change of scale property completely first shifting, second shifting, change of scale property we are going to apply for uh, using inverse Laplace transform formula for the given function. First, we will concentrate on first shifting theorem of inverse Laplace transform. Before that, we know it L of f of t. Uh, this notation we will read Laplace transform of f of t it's nothing but f bar of s. This is the notation. We will read the capital L uh, playing the role of Laplace transform operator. Now, we can write this f of t equal to L inverse of f bar of s. So, the L we shifted here, then it has become L inverse. This L inverse is playing the role, inverse Laplace operator role. So now, L inverse of F bar of S, it's nothing but F of T. So we can see it here. So if L inverse of F bar of S equal to F of T, then L inverse of F bar of instead of S if it is S minus A. Then for this S minus A, specifically in the in which the S minus A, the particular part minus A, it has become E power A T. So the leftover is here. L inverse of F bar of S. That is nothing but F of T. So now, F bar of S minus A, if it is there, E power A T into F of T. Suppose, L inverse of F bar of S plus A, it is there, E power minus A T F of T. That is this plus A, L inverse of, for that particular part, E power minus A T, that is the basic concept of first shifting theorem of inverse Laplace transform. Now, the leftover is here, it, this plus A, it has become E power minus A T. The leftover, L inverse of, F bar of S. That is nothing but F of T. That's what it is written. This just now we discussed also. If you are putting here this L inverse coming this side, it will become L. So L of F of T. It's nothing but F bar of S. L is shifted here. It has become L inverse. Now, using this first shifting theorem, we will solve the problem. The first problem is, find the inverse Laplace transform of S plus 2 by S square minus 2 S plus 5. So, the question is given, nothing in the question it is mentioned 
use faster shifting or second shifting change of scale property nothing it is mentioned about the name of the properties we must be in a position to select our time also very very important it's not a going on one one uh, property testing while writing the exam the time parameter is very very important correct the point the correct property which is suitable for the given problem we have to be we must be in a position to select that now this particular problem the numerator is s plus 2 the denominator is s square minus 2 s plus 5 fine now this denominator we are going to split in such a way looking at this only the first the picture it is coming a square minus 2 ab plus a b square so it is possible uh, this uh, completely we can put it uh, that uh, 2s is there so a minus b the whole square whether it is possible or not quickly we have to take the decision now so this is the given question it is written here so now our question is the numerator we didn't touch it all as it is we have written here the denominator that is plus 5 it is there in this place that we wrote it our convenient purpose to apply that a minus b the whole square formula purpose the 5 we split it in such a way plus 4 plus 1 the next step s square minus 2s plus 1 this 3 put together it has become s minus 1 the whole square because we know it s square minus 2s plus 1 a square b square minus 2ab so a is playing the role s b is playing the role 1 that we have done it here the plus 4 is written as it is next here we have to apply first shifting theorem first shifting theorem l inverse of f bar of s minus a if it is there this minus a will become e power a t the balance we will write it l inverse of f bar of s fine here s is there s minus 1 put together s minus 1 is there whereas the top if you are noticing s minus 1 the whole square whereas the numerator s it doesn't have together with that the minus 1 it is not there because strictly our formula is l inverse of l inverse of f bar of s minus a so wherever s is there minus a should be there our minus a that particular this is formula that's a reason minus a according to our problem minus 1 is playing the role so the denominator s minus 1 is there what about the numerator the numerator only s is there minus 1 is missing that point we have to catch so now mathematically it should obey whatever the steps we are following suddenly it is not possible apply any laws obeying mathematical laws we can do it what we are going to do we need minus 1 in the numerator also so add and subtract to one we can put it it affect it won't affect the result that is the reason the second step here s minus 1 that is the reason here also Minus one plus one we added. Now this grouping doing 
s minus 1 is there, this uh, denominator. Numerator also, s minus 1 is there. It is fitting to our first shifting theorem of inverse Laplace transform. Now, this put together s minus 1, 1 plus 2 we wrote it plus 3. This s minus 1 the whole square plus 4, everything it is written as it is. Now, easily we can apply first shifting theorem that is L inverse of f bar of s minus a. Now, our minus a place is minus 1, minus 1 it is there. Formula means e power a t we will write. Here we can write it e power t we can write it. Before that, so now L inverse of s minus 1, s minus 1 the whole square plus 4. This is a one term plus 3 by s minus 1 the whole square plus 4 another term. So L inverse of inside here one is there, here two functions put together, two are there. So the property which we are going to take, that is linearity property of inverse Laplace transform, with that help, L inverse of the two functions we can write, L inverse of the first term plus L inverse of the second term, the linearity property is helping us. According to that, so we have written here the 2, 1, here L inverse of, L inverse of, we wrote it split and we wrote it. The property using the linearity property of inverse Laplace transform using L inverse of, the first one is f1 bar of s, the second one is f2 bar of s, constant c1, c2. We can split in a such a way, L inverse of the first one plus L inverse of the second one. This we applied in our problem. That is the reason here, this is completely the first term. This is completely the second term. We wrote it L inverse of first, L inverse of second. Now, yeah, it is written here. We will apply now first shifting theorem. Here, S is there. Then, S minus A, S minus A according to our formula. We can write here A is playing the role 1. So it can be written this is e power t into f of t. f of t in the sense the balance what is there that we will put it. f of t is nothing but here it is there L inverse of f bar of s. Here also, S is there, minus 1. Here also we can apply that shifting, first shifting theorem. Here one doubt. Here we applied this minus 1 and that why not the second one. We have to keep it in our mind very carefully. If S is there, here the first term S is there, S minus A format. The numerator also in the question itself it is given S. Yes. So S yes minus A form it should be there. Here only in the denominator only S yes is there. The numerator there is no S. Yes. That point we have to. If we are not understanding this point it leads to lots of careless mistakes. So very careful in this particular step. Here S is there, here also S is there. 
So put together S minus A, S minus A, format is compulsory. Here only the denominator S is there, it's okay, fine. Only the denominator S minus A format is enough. It is fit. It has the eligibility to take the form of applying this fast shifting theorem of inverse Laplace transform. So we applied it. This is a minus 1, minus 1 purpose that is e power t, the balance L inverse as it is. Here minus 1, minus 1, it has come e power t. Here this, this, it has become e power t using the first shifting theorem of Laplace, inverse Laplace. So L inverse of here the balance, yes, minus 1, it has come out. So the balance is S square plus 4. Here this minus 1 purpose E power T. L inverse as it is. 3 as it is. S and square. S square plus 4. Very simple one. Very careful we have to be. F bar of S minus A format. It should be there. Now, this L inverse of S by S square plus 4, which formula we have to select? In Laplace transform, very less formulas only it is there. So, my uh, best actually the request we can see to the students, this S is there in the numerator plus a square. So we know it, L of s by s square plus a square. It will lead to cos. Easy to remember, it's a small technique, that's it. The numerator s is playing the role, it is cos a t. So L we will push it here, then L inverse of cos a t. Sorry, I'm sorry. L of cos a t equal to s by s square plus a square cos a t equal to l inverse of s by s square plus a square. Fine. So this formula is fitting here. That is s by s square plus a square. a is nothing but here 2, 2 square. So it's nothing, the same format here, it is there. The numerator, yes, is there. Here, the denominator, the middle sign is plus is there. Proceed, cos formula. If it is suppose here minus is there, cos h formula, we have to proceed. The numerator, it is not dominated by yes, then Laplace of sign formula, we have to go. Very easy way we can remember. Now, so this is e power t. Now, L inverse 3 by s square plus 4. There is no s term, the numerator. So, easy way we can select the Laplace form formula. It gives an indication that move towards sign. Because s square plus a square is there. Numerator, there is no s. It should be some constant should be there. So it related to Laplace of sine is dominating. We have to select correctly that picture we are getting. So now, so L of sine a t equal to a by s square plus a square. According to our problem, say s square, a square. The top a should be there. So now sin a t equal to L inverse of a by s square plus a square. This format, it should be. Then we can apply, we can tell this particular L inverse is sin a t. When we are comparing with this, the denominator is matching. s square plus a square, our problem s square plus 4 square is there. So, sorry, 4 is there. So, 2 square. A is playing the role 2. 
then what about a numerator the numerator a should be there but a is missing whatever we will do it should obey the mathematical law so multiply and divide we can do that that constant which we want it according to formula a we want it according to our problem the a is 2 so better we will multiply and divide by 2 we can do it so here through uh, two threes are it is becoming 6 so that's what it is written here so we understood here the 6 how it has come here then this is divide by 2 so this complete the formula is cos at our a here is a square is 2 square this complete the formula that is here it should come the 2 6 we can write it 2 into 3 the 3 is becoming here so 3 by 2 this is l inverse of 2 by s square plus 2 square it's nothing but sin at our problem sin 2t so we applied the first shifting theorem of inverse laplace transform here the both the uh, terms e power t is common we have taken then cos 2t here 3 by 2 sin 2t it has we have put it in the bracket next our question is the first problem we completed the next one is second shifting theorem of inverse laplace transform now we are very familiar after discussing this first shifting theorem of inverse laplace transform f of t it's nothing but l inverse of f bar of s so l inverse of this f bar of s if it is multiplied by e power minus a s this point we have to be we have to note it very carefully if that f bar of s if it is multiplied by this e power minus a s then we have to think about this second shifting theorem otherwise we should not touch at all that is nothing but capital g of t this g of t is a defined as that is what is the connectivity between this f of t and g of t it's nothing but giving the connectivity giving this both f of t and g of t this g of t is defined as f of t minus a see the beauty of the link this a is nothing but f bar of s is multiplied by e power minus a s this a this a the link it is there so f of t minus a if t is greater than a otherwise the function is zero if t is less than a all these conditions are satisfied then the final answer is f of t minus a into h of t minus a so we will based on this second shifting theorem we will do one problem evaluate L inverse of e power minus three s by s minus four the whole square. Nothing is given. That is a uh, uh, apply first shifting or second shifting or change of scale property. More are there. Nearly seven eight properties are there. So nothing. The name of the property which is not at all given in the question. so we must be uh, familiar with the properties the definitions and we have to do the comparison study of what is the difference between first shifting theorem and second shifting theorem the differences we must notice it so we are noticing we just now we have come to the picture that 
if l inverse of e power minus a s f bar of s this format it is there then it comes under second shifting theorem now the solution we will concentrate now given the l inverse it is there just what is given in the question that we wrote it once again now we are imagining ourselves so um, suppose if the question only this term it is there e power minus 3 we are not taking into consideration right now 1 by s minus 4 the whole square only we are taking that l inverse of f bar of s we are taking so l inverse f bar of s that we put it we didn't take into consideration that e power minus 3 s let it be first we will concentrate this why right now we have not taken also we will discuss so l inverse of 1 by s minus 4 the whole square fine we discussed already first shifting theorem if s is there put together s minus a then we will write it e power a t that is first shifting theorem that is l inverse of f bar of s minus a this minus a purpose e power a t l inverse of f bar of s this l inverse of f bar of s it's nothing but f of t so now applying this first shifting theorem this minus a the place our problem 4 is there so e power a t according to our problem we wrote it e power 4 t l inverse of so now this part it has become e power 4 t the remaining part so 1 by s square so l inverse of 1 by s square so regarding this formula we have to write it now l inverse of l of 1 1 by s l of t power 1 1 by s square l of t power n n factorial by s power n plus 1 few formulas we come across very what we studied in lower classes the few simple problems immediately we want to think also immediately it will come out fast we will be there similarly these formulas also l of 1 immediately 1 by s we have to say l of t power n the formula is n factorial by s power n plus 1 l of t power 1 how it is written using this only now we can see it here l of t power 1 applying here 1 factorial by s power 1 plus 1 1 factorial is 1 so 1 by s square so l of t equal to 1 by s square t equal to l we will push it here l inverse of 1 by s square so l inverse of 1 by s square it's nothing but t so 1 by s square 1 by s cube if it is coming immediately in our mind the picture it should ring it should give an alarm to us move towards l of t power n formula the formula is n factorial by s power n plus 1 so now this is our given question l inverse of e power minus 3s by s minus 4 the whole square is our complete problem that we have to solve it but what we are doing now we are doing the numerator that e power minus 3s we didn't touch at all without touching that 
we have taken the remaining part and we solved it e power 4t into t we got it now after getting this now we are going to touch that e power minus 3s so this uh, formula it's very clear the picture using this uh, faster shifting theorem that's what it is written here that is l inverse of f bar of s equal to f of t then l inverse of f bar of s minus a minus a i'm stressing the point that's what it is written e power a t into the remaining part l inverse of f bar of s it's nothing but f of t that's what it is here now we are going to apply second shifting theorem the second shifting theorem is compulsory f bar of s it should be multiplied by e power minus a s yes. that is the eligibility of applying second shifting theorem and this g of t and f of t their connectivity is f of t minus a this a the connectivity of here if t is greater than a then the function is f of t minus a whereas the function is zero then t is less than a fine the answer is all these conditions are satisfied the final result is f of t minus a into h of t minus a we will come back to our problem now l inverse of f bar of s we can see it here this is only our question to complete the problem which is this one in this only neglecting the numerator part we already we solved it that is l inverse of 1 by s minus 4 the whole square and this purpose we wrote it e power 4t the leftover is l inverse of 1 by s square this l inverse of 1 by s square it's nothing but a t we discussed in detail and we completed that partly 50 percentage of the problem we completed complete we didn't take because we neglected the numerator now we are going to apply the second shifting theorem the entire problem will come to an end how to put an end now here f bar of s is there our f bar of s is comparing the second shifting theorem f bar of s is there our f bar of s is this one e power minus a place a s place e power minus 3 s is there so our a is playing the role 3 it is playing a role now we have to write f of t minus a we already we got it f of t because this is nothing but l inverse of f bar of s it's nothing but f of t our f of t we got it e power 4t into t that means we wanted f of t minus a wherever t we have to put it at t minus a that is according to the formula t minus a then what about our problem our problem a is 3 that is the reason here e power 4 t e power 4 of t minus a it's nothing but a t minus 3 into t minus a that is t minus 3 here completely e power 4 of t minus a that is t minus 3 t minus 3 so f of t minus a is over t is greater than a formula t is greater than 3 our problem formula 0 ours also 0 formula t is less than a our problem t is less than 3 so everything we fit into second shifting theorem then the final answer is according to formula f of t minus a into h of t minus a then we can write it so t minus this is f of t minus a it's nothing but t 
minus a into e power 4 of t minus a that is 3 into h of t minus a it's nothing but h of t minus 3. So we completed the second shifting theorem also. Change of scale property. If L inverse of f bar of s is f of t, then L inverse of here, if it is only f bar of s, it is f of t. Instead of f bar of s, if it is given f bar of a s, that means the s is multiplied by a. Then final result how? That is 1 by a f of, usually we will be getting f of t. There the t is divided by a. The a is positive. This is only the change of scale property. How to identify the property? Easy way to identify instead of f bar of s, it will be given 2s or 3s or 5s. That keeping in the mind, easily we can identify. We can see the uh, one problem using this uh, change of scale property. If L inverse of S by S square plus 1 the whole square, which is nothing but 1 by 2 into T into sine T. He defined this uh, Laplace transform of this particular one is, this is the result. It has given in the question itself. Then they are asking us, use this and find L inverse of 8s by 4s square plus 1 the whole square. So easily here we can see the 8s is there. 8, yes. Because of that reason only we are going to select the change of scale property. Because change of scale property, A, yes. Here ours is 8, S. Yes, fine. Now we will concentrate the solution. Given, this is the condition which is given. That is L inverse of S by S square plus 1 the whole square equal to 1 by 2 into t into sin t. Yes, we are going to take it as a s. This is the given condition that we are taking. With that help, we are going to prove what is required. S equal to a s we are putting. That is wherever s we will put it a s. So here we can notice it. S has changed as a s. Here s square Yes, place we are going to put it. A S yes, the whole square. It's nothing but A square S square. This plus 1 plus 1 square square. This 1 by T is as it is. We know very well change of scale property. It's nothing but 1 by A into F of T by A. So wherever T is there, the T we have to write it T by A. So, the formula 1 by a, t is there, it should be written t by a, sine of t, so sine of t by a, clear. This is, we are trying to put it in the form of change of scale property. We applied it. Now, once again it is given here, the change of scale property, what is that? So, f of t equal to L inverse of f bar of s. If that f bar of s is a s, the result is 1 by a. f of t, there the t, it should be changed. It should be converted into t by a, where a is positive. We applied it also here. So, a s by a square s square plus 1 the whole square. So, we can see it here. So, t, this is completely multiplying. We are getting 2a square. That's what it is written here. Sine of t by a. Put a equal to 2. 
the question why uh, specifically we have to take a two, we can't take three and four to get the result. The result is uh, L inverse of eight s is our problem. So first a equal to two we are putting here the two has it has become here we are putting two square so it has become four s square remaining part everything we wrote it as it is the t is written as it is here the two into this a square a plus we are putting two so two square four four into two eight so sine of t by two. So we can see it. This is the question we have to solve. So the question if you are solving, compare with our question. Yes, the denominator exactly we got it. Whereas the numerator 8s is there, but we have 2s is there. That a simple way. Here t by 8 is there. 8 in that 4 we will push it to this side. Then it is becoming here 4 we have taken, so 8 can be written, 4 into 2, the 4 we put it here, the left is t by 2, so t by 2 into sine t by 2, so we completed the problem. We will come to a conclusion of this video lecture regarding first sh second shifting theorems and change of scale property of inverse Laplace transform. First, we discussed first shifting theorem of inverse Laplace transform. For the inverse Laplace transform, L inverse is the inverse Laplace operator. Easy way to find whatever the question is given, we first focus on S minus A. The format it is that e power a t. If it is S plus A, F bar of S plus A, it is that E power minus A T. This is the way easy way to select the first shifting theorem of inverse Laplace transform. This problem also we selected and we concentrate the numerator and denominators to fit this uh, first shifting theorem. We did the simplifications and we solved it. Second shifting theorem, f of t will be there, g of t will be there, their connectivity is, if t is greater than a, it should be written f of t minus a and we have selected one problem that we solved it, first we concentrated 50 percentage, partly first we solved it and finally we gave the connectivity to the second shifting theorem. The final answer is the second shifting theorem f of t minus a into h of t minus a. Change of scale property that is instead of f bar of s, the s is multiplied by a. The result is 1 by a into f of t by a. We selected one problem that is also in detail we discussed it. Thank you very much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.